Are we ready to do this, my friend? Are we fucking ready? Ah! We are going to be playing this game in English with English voices. I'm sorry for those of you who like Japanese subtitles. Is a work of fiction. Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. That's right, you have to sign a freaking user agreement, guys. Kitty, that is enough out of you. The contract has been sealed. The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. Well, you know, that's technically what wizards are, what kind of tricksters, you know. Hashtag the wizard is always right. Believe in the wizard! I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it feels different on the big screen on the PC And we are in it. This is our only chance. Stay calm. You can get away now. We'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. Hmm? What was that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate on getting away. Okay. I am not used to this. It's fucking done on WASD. Let's go. Hold on. 
Got it. You should be able to get out that way. Hurry. Dude, can you even hear us? Don't worry. I'm taking up everyone's voices. Just go, Joker. Huh? Wait a sec. I'm getting a weird reading heading your way. Come on, run. Intruder simply can't be found. You're quick. Where'd they go, damn it? I can't confirm the intruder's location. By the way, just as a uh, fun fact. This song is a secret little um, gifts of alert that we have. Can you use that thing and just fly over there? My friends, the first time I saw this on PlayStation 4, my reaction was, what the fuck do you mean fly? But no, they mean this. I think we're ready but like I said just enjoy the music for a second enjoy this fucking music Yeah, Sagey Boy is going to actually show you how it's done. It's an enemy right near you. Oh, really? An enemy right near me? I could take him. Even you can't take on this many. You don't know that. You don't know that. this right now.
My weak self relied on you so much. That ends today. <laughs> yes, I'm in, I'm enjoying this for the music, guys. But this time, it's my turn to come to your aid, senpai. Now let's win this. Sona. Come. Them to track you down. You still have something you need to do as a phantom thief, right? Then I won't stop you. Since I'm not a member of the phantom thieves, I'm in no position to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Joker, you need to get out of there. Go, go, go! Well, I'm just standing there with my hands in my pockets. All right, let's let's get through this. to find some kid you have your teammate to thank for this you were sold out <coughs> suspect confirmed cuff it
guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Cooperate. What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? So you're not that dumb. Which is good. Because we get to take as much time as we need. You dick! Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. The thing that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? I was enjoying it? Everything's hazy. I can't remember. We are definitely going to be playing this game on normal. Because Daisy Boy likes story. He likes doing things normally. Sign here. Under your name. I understand, you dick. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. Janata, that is my name. I like how they let you use the keyboard for this shit. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. All jokes aside, my friends, uh, I will say this. This game is awesome. You can, uh, you can play this game any way you really want. This game is absolutely fucking amazing. Besides, are you Prosecutor Sai Nijima? I just got off the phone with your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Mm, I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Ah, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with them for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. 
His methods are unknown, after all. We don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. I didn't expect to be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. <sighs> Those bastards. Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here. And I can't stop them. That's why I need you to answer me honestly. I don't have much time either. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a major incident? I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. Of course you couldn't! <laughs> True. There's no way I could be convinced of such a world just by reading the reports. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Well... Start from the very beginning. Well, it started out like this. You see, I was born with magic, and I was taught at a wizard school. Oh, wait a minute, not that origin? No? No? Oh, Fine, it actually started out like this. Would you like to save your current progress? Oh my god. Already, guys. Already. I am so fucking stoked. I am just so fucking excited. Words cannot express, guys. This game is amazing. And the fact that it's on Steam and other consoles just puts this shitty grin on my face. Don't you? <laughs> oh, 
Watching anime, aren't we, Karlov? This is a video game, my dude. This is above all one of the greatest video games you can ever play. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I might freak out a little bit if, if my phone started doing that. Like I said, this anime is amazing, Kronom. I recommend you get this game. It's on all systems now. If you're ever confused about what to do or where to go next, look to the upper right corner of the screen to view various hints. Hello, nurse! Hey, get back here! Nurse! <laughs> Starting today, Sojiro Sakura will be taking care of me. His house should be in the back street of, the, of this residential area. Rotating the camera. If you use I, J, K, or L. I, J, K, or L. What? What? C and R will bring the camera back. To oh. Oh. What? Wow. Ah, here we are. The name play here says Sakura. Looks like this might be Sojiro Sakura's house. Excuse me, anyone home? If that, even after ringing the doorbell, it doesn't look like anyone will answer the door. Maybe he's gone out? Looks like no one's home. Oh yeah, Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, it belongs in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package to... Hmm? 
Yes, Chad, I have a bad sense of direction. It looks like this is LeBlanc. This is LeBlanc. I want to try curry. The public transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, oh how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh, right. They did say that was today. Oh, we'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. None of my concern. We'll see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Hi! Say, Janata, maybe you've heard of me? Loathsome troublemaker, wizard, wizard for hire? You know, that kind of guy? No? No? You haven't heard of me? Please take care of me! <laughs> uh -huh. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other, and, well, not that that matters. Follow me. You see, chat, he's not actually our dad, okay? He's not actually our dad. So saying that a certain person is more like your sister is wrong. Eh, wrong. Although he is coffee, dad. <laughs> yeah. This is your room. At least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. It's big? It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Hey, it wasn't even my fault that I'm here, okay? Twilight, welcome on in. The thing, by the way, the theme of this game, everybody's a dick! <laughs> now then, I got the gist of your situation. By the way, the guy who's playing Sojiro also plays as the commander in Monster Hunter World, as well as, I believe, Mr. Satan in Dragon Ball Super. As well as a few other. Some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? Well, I mean, it's a bit more complicated than that, but that's what they said. Basically! And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. Yeah. Yeah, the voice actor for Mr. Satan, I, I believe it's the same guy. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. Look, I know I'm a pain in the ass. Everybody who knows me in this community will tell you, Sage is a pain in the ass. Best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. A whole year. 
Cause any problem, and you'll be sent straight to Jubi. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Fan Fancy! I believe this is your cue. Actually, Phantom's at work tonight. He'll be gone for ma the majority of the night. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? Something you gotta remember, about, especially about uh, the way uh japanese law works if you get uh basically things are apparently a lot harsher in japan great zella thank you for the follow thank you so much for the follow welcome to the village i hope you are doing well welcome on in my friend but yeah Apparently, the Japanese court system is a lot more harsh than it is in the States. Apparently, if somebody sues you, you actually will get your ass kicked from your school. What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. I'll be living here today. I should check out what's in here. Yeah, pretty much, Kronov. That's uh, like I, I read up on it. Apparently, it's things are a lot more harsh in Japan than in the States. It's a cardboard bag sent back home. It's full of clothes and daily necessities. I'll change this to more comfortable clothes for now. I'll have to clean it first. I should start cleaning first. Yeah, let's start cleaning. But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised how good this game, this game, like, I'm not normally a PC master race type of person, but holy shit, I'm pleasantly surprised. Like this game actually looks better here than it does on the on the PlayStation. It's late. It seems I've been cleaning for a while. What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad, though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. Yes, Dad! Going to bed is a special action that will advance time. Time is limited. Think carefully about your schedule before you act. By the way, guys, it's going to be practically impossible to do everything that is required in one gameplay playthrough like i'll be able to get close to it but some of these social links that will end up happening will have to do it on a new game plus Starting today, this is my room. Change and go to bed. Arrest, trial, criminal record. Damn brat, I'll sue! Still, I kind of just let that go. <sighs> that day, I ended up going home late. And here we are with the lovely flashback. By the way, I didn't explain this the first time I played through this game, but I enjoy 
the background sounds that you hear. This was something that was not in the original vanilla Persona 5. Mm -hmm. I can hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. I think they're just up ahead. How dare you cross me? Yeah. It looks like that drunk man is bothering that woman. Please stop. I can't ignore this. What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble? Huh? I'll, I'll call the police. Call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. No! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! I mean, technically I'm nowhere near you, dirtbag! the show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Well, I mean, like I said, this is basically explaining the reason why we're in Shu uh, Shujin Academy now, in Shibuya. Get in the car. Huh, it's that weird app that somehow ended up on my phone. The icon looks like an eye. I thought I deleted it. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. It's time to go to sleep. Now, for those of you who are Persona fans and have played Persona before, there is one reoccurring <laughs> thing and we're about to see it and no it's not the toilet <laughs> Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. No, that guy. So you've come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Igor! My friends! The Velvet Room. Yes. We are in the Velvet Room. That is the... Uh, this place is the... Along with Igor, is the reoccurring thing between the Persona games. 
Igor is in every one of the main titles. The Velvet Room usually uh, comes in various forms in this uh, between the different games. I believe in Persona 3, the Velvet Room was an elevator. In Persona 4, the Velvet Room was basically a, the inside of a limousine. And in this game, it's a prison! Important Still, matters. This is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Ruin? I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated. Rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? I'd rather avoid ruin. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justine. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Oh. Now hurry up and go back to sleep! Also, that theme song is uh, particular when it comes to the Velvet Room. That is a, uh, a theme song you will hear in, I think, all of the Persona games. I had a strange dream. Rowan, rehabilitation, what does it mean? Looks like you're up. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. Aoyama. It'll take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle, too. I'll drive you there, but just for today, Let's go. Men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Okay! Okay, you freaking pimp! Do me a favor and behave yourself, alright? Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. Will you stop being a dick? Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. Yes, Principal No Neck. Principal No Neck Kingpin. In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. If by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He 
is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Yeah, apparently everybody's a dick. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. So you keep reminding me. I'll be careful. Hmm. School never changes, huh? Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. And then there's this asshole! Calm down, Sage. Calm down. We're not gonna get there just yet. We're not gonna get on why you don't like this guy. That said, on a, uh, another note, the voice acting has, the English voice acting is superb. This PE teacher, this PE teacher is voice acted by the original voice actor who did Wesker. From Resident Evil 5, the original Resident Evil, Code Veronica X, same guy. Anyway, I'm gonna get another drink real quick and then we're gonna continue onwards, okay? I'm also gonna go ahead and turn on the AC because it's getting close to about 82 degrees in this apartment. Oh shit, hold on guys. I almost forgot. I got laundry in there. Sorry about that. switch the laundry to the dryer. I decided to do some laundry earlier this morning and I almost forgot about it. Alright. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. I don't know about that. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. 
Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. I'm trying not to blow a gasket right now. I'll explain once we get to it, but I'm trying to, but fair warning guys, there's going to be a moment where Sage goes full on rage mode. Yes, that's true. Why did it have to be my class? Ugh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. Think you can manage? Eh, we'll see. Now listen up. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. That's what it was like at school. People might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. Why did you take me in? I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. And now, back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Another accident. Um, is this game a drama game through and through? Um, I can't really... S this... Okay, the story is great. I'm going to tell you that much right now. It's worth taking your time and investing with it. The gameplay is fun. But you got to remember, Persona... Persona works... Like all Persona games do. It is part life simulator in a way. Like you go to school, you will actually get uh, tests, for example. You have to like, like you have choices in this game that matter. And no matter what your choice, what your choice is in this game, the game continues. Yes, kitty. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Her parents have got to be just... There are some uplifting parts, but there's also parts where it can be triggering. All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident, so drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Yeah, there, are, there will be some moments where it will get dark. Like, it will get triggering. So, fair warning, my friends. Oh, come on. But there, were, there are some uplifting parts. Engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. 
After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh, well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Aww. There'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. <sighs> Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Here's a diary. Now make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon. I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? I should do as I'm told for now. So basically, this is how you save the game for the most part, is... I should write something. Just like that. Unfortunately, there's really... Oh, wait a minute. Phone's ringing. The ringing sound isn't coming from my cell phone. I hear it coming from downstairs. Hey, it's me. <laughs> Is this a prank call? I've seriously forgotten my voice already. It's Sakura. Anyway, I, I closed up shop, but I forgot to flip the sign to closed when I left. It's too much trouble for me to come back just for that. Think you can do it for me? Okay, got it. Customers are gonna come now, even if the signs flip to open. And I have to say, this is quite a relief. It's a personal policy of mine not to save a guy's number in my phone. I'm glad you actually picked up. Anyway, I'll leave the shop sign to you. So we actually get a little bit of uh, trust from Sojiro. You know, we could just run right here. We could just go the fuck outside, do whatever the fuck we want. We're not.
And honestly, the game really won't let us. Is there anything else I need to do? No. Kitty! Not yet! I need to take the train to school. Yongjin Jaya Ayami Ichome transfer. Looks like I need to go out to Shibuya then transfer there. More news about that subway accident. It seems a lot of people were hurt. I bet this will affect the timetables for the mall too. That strange app I saw last night is back. It keeps showing up. Thought I erased it. I should probably reboot my phone just in case. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. Does your attitude in the game matter? Like if you're a positive? No. No. Although there are some funny dialogue depending on what choices you have. I have school starting today. Hopefully I get there without getting lost. I don't want to be late on my first day. I should head out now. See Hold on a minute. So, you're actually going to school, huh? Here, I'll feed you. Just make sure you finish it before the customers start coming in. What's that reaction for? Just eat it. I want some of that! I can taste complex fa fa flavors within the bold spiciness. It's time for you to go. Thanks for the meal. Turns out you do have manners after all. Hurry over to school. You'll end up late if you get lost on the way. Oh, yeah. And flip the sign outside to open for me. Okay, got you it. Do that for me, all right? Now, you better hurry on out. You're going to be late if you get lost, country boy. Country boy? I'm as city boy as they come. Kid, hold on, guys. Let's see. It's three ten. It is not time for your food yet. No. You behave. Let's get on the train. Turns out the rumors about the Tokyo subway are true, kitty. Seems like there's some lingering effects in yesterday's accident. It's not in that cabinet, cat. Cat. Oh yeah, that's right. Wrong line. By the way, here's a Persona 4 reference to those of you who are curious. That first picture, Kitty, that is enough out of you. Kit? There we go. Cat. Hold on, guys. I gotta get my water bottle. I might as well feed him. 
Otherwise, he's not going to stop. Oh boy. Uh, no. No. There are various game overs in this game. Various bad endings. And what I mean by bad endings, I mean... I'm I'm not joking. I gotta wait for the train. Oh man. Did it say it was going to rain today? Huh? It's raining outside? It just started all of a sudden. This is why I hate the early spring. It reminds me. Did he take an umbrella? Hmm? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't mind me. So, what'll it be? One house blend, please. The effects of yesterday's subway accident continues on today, as various lines suffer delays and... There's been a lot of nasty accidents lately. You know, I mean the subway accident that the news is talking about. My co-worker got caught up in it and is in the hospital now. But that aside, it's kind of creepy. The people who caused these accidents supposedly went crazy all of a sudden. I heard that some of them suffered from nervous breakdowns during interrogation. Huh. Morning. You want me to give you a ride to school? You're going to be late. I'm um, sure. Thank you. Do you need a lift, too? Huh? No. Uh. Damn it! Screw that! Teacher?
What do you want? You planning on ratting me out to Kamashita? Kamashita? Huh? In that car just now, it was Kamoshida. He does whatever the hell he wants. Who does he think he is? The king of a castle? The king of a castle? No, I, I mean... Hmm? Wait, you don't know Kamoshida? Are you for real? <sighs> You're from Shujin, right? I think so. You messing with me? You're wearing a Shujin uniform. Huh. A second year, huh? We're the same grade then. Never seen you before, though. Oh. You a transfer student? <laughs> then no wonder you don't know him. This rain ain't too bad. You better hurry up or we'll be late. Ah. I feel lightheaded for some reason. Oh, my head hurts. Damn it. I want to go home. There was a terrible subway accident that day. You remember it, don't you? I assume you know of the uproar that the public calls the psychotic breakdown incidents. Never heard of them. That can't possibly be true. It was all over the news, and one of the victims included a teacher at your high school. I've no doubt you heard about it. On that day, were you still an ordinary student? Let me change the question. You transferred to Shujin Academy, correct? An ordinary prep school that could be found in any city. That's what it should have been. Kitty! Hold on. My cat is being mischievous. What happened around that time? Tell me everything. Truthfully. Yep. Th that's weird. Where's the school? Is this our school? It should be. It said Shujin on the gate. What's going on here? Out of service? Where did we end up? The sign was for the school, right? Yeah. Right? You saw it too! Jeez, you freaked me out. Who are you? You a student? Man, your costume's impressive. Is that armor real? Come on, don't just stand there, say something. 
Hey, what's going on? What is this? Dude, I don't know. Nope. This shit's real. C calm down. Time out, man. We gotta run. Got it. Stop standing around and run. Yeah. What's with these guys? You're gonna break my bones, damn it! The hell you think you're? Yeah. Take them away. Would you like to save your current progress? Yes, I would. Hey, 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 wake up. You all right? Yep. You? Yeah, more or less. Looks like this ain't no dream. Gah, what's going on? Hey, let us out of here. I know there's someone out there. Damn it. Where are we? Is this some kind of movie set? What the hell was that just now? Whoa, 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 whoa! You're shitting me, right? Come on, man. This is real bad. Is there some way out of here? Come on, we gotta do something. Yeah, I don't think we're getting out of here anytime soon. Trouble. Be glad that your punishment has been decided upon. Your charge is unlawful entry. Thus, you will be sentenced to death. Say what? No one's allowed to do as they please in my castle. Huh? Wait. Is that you, Kamoshida? Kamoshida? I thought it was some petty thief. But to think it'd be you, Sakamoto. Are you trying to disobey me again? It looks like you haven't learned your lesson at all, huh? And you brought a friend this time. Because you can't do anything for yourself. This ain't funny, you asshole! Is that how you speak to a king? It seems you don't understand the position you're in at all. Not only did you sneak into my castle, you committed the crime of insulting me, the king! The punishment for that is death. It's time for an execution. Take him out. Stop it. God damn it. I mean, I ain't down for this shit. Come on, we're out of here. are serious uh oh running away are we what a heartless friend you are <sighs> he ain't a friend come on hurry up and go what's the matter too scared to run away <laughs> pathetic scum isn't worth my time i'll focus on this one's execution take this Your energy from earlier, go. 
A peasant like you isn't worth beating. I'll have you killed right now. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> what? Don't you dare tell me you don't know who I am. That look in your eyes irritates me. Hold him there. After the peasant, it's his turn to die. No, I don't want to die. <laughs> this is truly an unjust game. Your chances of winning are almost none. But if my voice is reaching you, there may yet be a possibility open to you. What's the matter? Are you simply going to watch? Are you forsaking him to save yourself? Death awaits him if you do nothing. Was your previous decision a mistake then? Hell no it wasn't! I will stop you. What was that? You desire to be killed that much? Fine. <laughs> oh, you done done it? You done did it now? Don't you know not to fuck with somebody with glasses? Yep, we've become a badass. You guys offer me power, huh? Give it to me! Content. 
by the way, just by the way, our sin is basically saying, let your anger and rage flow through you. I love it. So basically, this is how combat works. With this power. What? What was that just now? Lock the cell. You mean this? Okay, it's locked. Damn you! Hey, what was that just now? And your clothes? Whoa, it went back to normal. You bastards! God, this is effing nuts. Anyways, let's scram. You lead the way. Goddamn thieves. After them. Don't let them escape. Damn you. Why, yes, I can. Yeah, let's get out of here. Nowhere else we can try. All right, let's get to hop. Whoa. Basically, special actions is what happens when you do that. Damn it. <sighs> Whoa. Yeah, they're looking for us. Another dead end. Hey. Hey. Blondie Frizzy, look over here. Uh, what is this thing? It's a cat. You're not soldiers of this castle, right? Get me out of here. Look, the key's right there. We're trying to get the hell out of here. I mean, you obviously look like an enemy too. I'm locked up here, so how can I be your enemy? A cat? I am not a cat. Say that again and I'll make you regret it. They're catching up already. Shit, there's still no service. Ain't there any way to contact someone outside? How the hell do we get out? Hey, you too! You wanna know where the exit is? Let me out and I'll take you there. You don't wanna get caught and executed, <sighs> right? Can you really help us? I never go back on my word. This thing sounds like it's all talk. If you guys think you can get out on your own, then be my guest. What do we do? I say we let the cat out. Seriously not messing with us? 
You don't hurry, they'll catch you. <laughs> Fine. Uh, uh, freedom tastes so great. Now where's the exit, you monster cat? Don't call me a cat. I am Morgana. Shut up and hurry it up. You want to be locked up again? Oh, all right. Sheesh. Follow me and stay quiet. It's fourth period already. Sakura-san said that he left the house this morning. Should I contact the police? No, that'll just be more of a hassle. What did I do to deserve this? Well, guess we just gotta follow it. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm lowering the bridge. You, frizzy hair. It seems like you pick up on things faster than our blondie over here. Try checking around the mouth of this statue, okay? How were we supposed to know to do that? Amateur. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah, frickin' Zoro! We will promptly shut them up. Damn shadows. They've taken up intercept positions. Looks like it's not about capturing us anymore. They're out for blood. I'll back you up. So fight like your life depends on it. Let's go! Come! There! I knew you were an amateur. This is how you fight! Zoro! Strike at an enemy's weakness to knock them down. Use that opening to strike again! That's the most basic of basics. Remember it well! Weaknesses and one more! Skills have varying affinities to, and each, each enemy is weak to certain affinities. If you attack with an enemy's weakness, you will deal more damage and knock them down. You'll be able to take another action after knocking an enemy down. This is called a one more. If you topple another enemy, you will gain another one more. This will continue as hard as you continue to attack enemies' weaknesses. Not bad, your persona is pretty powerful. Persona? You mean that thing that comes out of you, like guys, all dramatic like? Yeah, you saw how Frizzy Hair ripped off his mask when he summoned it, right? Well, everybody wears a mask deep within their heart by removing that. Whoa. Huh, he turned back to normal. Hmm, looks like you don't have full control over your power yet. The transformation should have normally dissolved like that after all. Uh, uh, that's enough. This crap doesn't make any sense. Can you just sit still and listen for once, Blondie? Don't call me Blondie. My name's Ryuji. Hey. Actually, there's no time for me to lecture you. You want to escape this place in one piece? Let's go. Um, before that, take these. Use them carefully. Okay. Yep. Let's go. Now. I feel like I'm, 
like I've seen what this dude's wearing before. Ah, damn it! I'm too flustered. I can't remember anything right now. Come on, let's go. Hold on, damn it! What is it? We need to go fast. But uh, who are these guys? Do you really think you have time to worry about other people right now? Besides, they're there. You should have listened to me. I'm glad you stick to your guns. Looks like it's raring to go too. Ah, Pixie! I want it. more show up hold on we can't just leave these guys here you really don't get it do you oh there's no time to explain look i'm going if you don't want to follow be my guest damn it fine i'm coming how are we ug this way the access cards keep it up We're here. Oh, finally, we're saved. It's not opening. Did you trick us, you jerk? Don't jump to conclusions. Over here. Hey, wait up. Where are we supposed to get out from here? There aren't even any windows. Oh, amateur. This is the most basic of basics. A ventilation That's shaft. That's right. As I thought, you're a natural at this. It leads all the way outside. Now, you could say blow it up, and it does come up to some funny dialogue. But like I said, this time I decided to say that. I see. There's no wrong answer in these dialogues. Then we just gotta get that metallic mesh off. And a one, and a... Crap, the enemy didn't hear us, did they? Seriously, we're finally getting out of here. You should wait on celebrating until you actually get out. Now get going. But what about you? There's something that I still have to do. We're going our separate ways. <laughs> You've got manners. Be careful on your way. Those two seem useful, especially the frizzy-haired one, if my judgment's right. Get used to going back and forth between dimensions. <sighs> Did we make it? You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. Huh? Return? Does that mean we got away? I wonder. <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. What was all that anyways? That castle and, and Kamoshida and that weird cat? What the hell's going on? What's with the yelling? Are you students of Shujin? Cutting classes, are we? Huh? Uh, no. We were trying to get to school and we ended up at this weird castle. <sighs> what? Oh, hand over your bag. You better not be doing any drugs. Why would you think that? Are you his friend? <laughs> he was bullying me. <laughs> don't lie like that. Just tell him what happened. Like I'm trying to say, I don't know what's going on either. We passed by Shujin on our way here. There was nothing out of the ordinary about it. 
If you spout any more nonsense, I'll contact your school. Is that what you want? Come on, say something. I don't want to be late. Uh, that's not what I meant. W wait a sec. Is that guy for real? Fine, I'm going. A minister of transport announcing his resignation. <laughs> Things are going as planned. Sai Nijima. That reminds me. <sighs> Better to leave it be for now. Is this for real? I'm sure we came the same way. I what's going on here? That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. We received a call from the police. Damn cops snitched on us after all. Hmm. It's rare not to see you alone. Where were you roaming around until this time? Uh... A, ca a castle? So you have no intention of giving an honest answer. What's this about a castle? <laughs> Kamoshida? You seem so carefree, Sakamoto. Quite a difference from when you did morning practice for the track team. Shut up! It's your fault that it... How dare you speak that way to Mr. Kamoshida? <sighs> There's not much leeway left for you, you know? He's the one that provoked me! Do you really want to be expelled? In any case, you'll have to explain yourself. Follow me! What? This is bullshit! Come now. I should have been more considerate, too. Let's just say that we were both to blame. Well, if you say so. Still, you're coming with me. It's undeniable that you're extremely late. Fine. By the way, you're that new transfer student, correct? Yep. Have we met somewhere? I saw a girl in your car. That's right. I remember now. Well, I'll overlook this just for today. I'm sure you've heard from the principal. But cause any trouble and you'll be expelled. Oops. I understand. At any rate, hurry up and go to the faculty office. I'm sure Ms. Kawakami's tired of waiting. Good luck trying to enjoy your new school life. Oh, you dick. You fucking dick. The school turned into an old castle? A talking cat? Are you hallucinating from an overdose? I won't put up with you if you're simply joking around. I'm going to have you continue the story. The one who received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves was an Olympic medalist. An alumnus from Shujin Academy. The PE teacher, Suguru Kamoshida. It all came out in his confession. He was guilty of everything. The abuse, the... violations. But there should have been no connection between the two of you since you had just transferred. Why did you target him? I'll tell you later. That's unacceptable. Try and recall it once again. What do you think I'm trying to do, bitch? <laughs> Alright. This is the point where you gotta go to the faculty office. If only I could remember where it's at. And yes, everybody is talking about you. Principal's office. Mm -hmm. Faculty office. Time to go inside. Ugh, unbelievable. 
being over half a day late on your first day? Can you explain yourself? I got lost! How could you have been lost for this long? It's almost lunchtime. Well, it's probably true that you're not used to the area yet, but you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that Sakamoto kun. That Sakamoto kun? <sighs> Don't get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. You can't tell me who I could get involved with and who I can't get involved with. I hate to break it to you, but I'm gonna fucking get involved in as long as I want. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Anyway, break's almost over. Classes will end after fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. By the way, when you introduce yourself, be serious about it, even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Yeah, everybody's talking about me. Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right, please say something to the class. Nice to meet you. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it... I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh, so, your seat will be over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> Lies. Huh? Did you catch that? Do those two know each other? Ooh, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? That means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. Wow! I mean, I've heard this before, but still, even hearing it again after so long. Wow! Again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh, right. The volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well, then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. I mean, apparently that's the rumors. What's wrong? Are you sure you're okay? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. Oh, and about Sakamoto-kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. <sighs> it was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black either. That little uh, tidbit, apparently in Japanese schools, blonde hair is a sign of delinquency. getting involved. Understood? Why 
didn't you allow a student like him to transfer here? He's already started associating with Sakamoto. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case. Yeah. At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now, don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamoshido Kun. You are our star. Still, a steady buildup is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. I continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. Principal No Neck. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? She said you had trouble. <laughs> We're pretty much in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Yep. Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So, yeah, uh, thanks. You're welcome. But, man, that Kamoshida we saw there. Probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. guy you met at the school gates, the ripped one. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, all right? See ya. By the way, uh, it is a little bit of a fine touch with this game, but I like the fact that the game hey, has um, the, school. the titles of the characters. You actually have them with their last name before they formally introduce themselves. It's just a little fine touch that I like. I hear you ditched half a day on your first day of school. I couldn't help it. Yeah, yeah, that's what everyone says when they're caught. Just behave yourself. One wrong step and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? I do. Good. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll head over in half an hour, as promised. What are you standing around for? Get upstairs and go to bed already. No, it's a guy. I just hired a part-timer. Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? Yep, I'm leaving now. I told you, he's a part-timer. Let's do it. Let's quickly save. And let's go to bed. And it looks like we're going to the Velvet Room once again. I've heard about, about time that. you've come to. On your feet, inmate. 
Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. My powers? There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. Be patient with this voice, that's all I will say. I will not say anything else, but be patient with this voice. It does sound strange. I have high expectations for you. You have no choice but to hone your strength. It's not because we're forcing you, but because this is your fate. Neglect it and you will die. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. Fair enough. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. By the way, he's referring to the app that was on our phone. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. I had another strange dream, fate and awakening. I need to hurry and get ready for school. Seriously? I'm gonna go ahead and skip this little dialogue. What's going on? It's basically them talking about the accidents. Look, isn't that her? You mean that one with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail, too. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? Nope. Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, then. What speed? I mean, excuse me, that seat was for this lady. Oh. Want me to wake him up? It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Ain't it heavy, though? Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. What's what? For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Thanking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me. Um, I won't say just yet. But if you've played Persona, you know you can have certain Lots of starting. waifu interests. I'm the social study teacher, Mr. Yoshimaru. I'll be teaching you the rules of society this year. 
<laughs> you all look like you've been spoiled growing up. Can't wait to see who disappoints me the most this year. Gee. Reminds me of the principal of the principal from freaking Persona 4. A certain dictionary defines the year as a period of 365 disappointments. A book's title is about as cynically satirical as the rest of it. It's the, it's the Devil's Dictionary by Ambrose Pierce. Hey, new kid! What's the answer? Tell me what the Devil's Dictionary defined as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Um... It's either money or experience. Hmm. Do you know anything? Hmm, I didn't expect you to know. The correct answer Oh, villains! I n fuck. Ava! Part of the village, one of the family. Part of the village. What are you doing? Thank you so much. Get some rest. Get back to your corner. I love you to bits. I hope you're doing okay. Thank you for the 22 months. Holy crap, guys. 22 months.